Well, hello everybody. It is a Saturday, so I shall say happy weekend. I hope you're all having a good day. Well, it's quite late now, so I hope you've had a good day. <laughs> um, I just thought I'd do another quick little video. This is a haul. Um, it's not a particularly big one, and it's a bit of a mishmash, to be honest, because I feel like I've been here, there, and everywhere today. Um, I went out with my mum for the day. We had a little mooch round, because uh, my mum came round for dinner yesterday, and she asked me what I wanted to do for the weekend. I didn't have any particular plans, but I did say I wanted to go to Home Bargains because I love Home Bargains and um, I haven't been for a long time. So I thought it would be nice just to have a little mooch around there, see if there's anything new in, because I've not been in such a long time that I thought there'd probably be a good turnover of stock since I last went in and there'll be some new things for me to see. Um, so we decided to go there. Um, we also uh, went to Asda. Um, I only got one thing from there, but I will show you it. Uh, but my mum was on the hunt for a new kettle because um, hers has given up the ghost. So we needed a new kettle for her. And um, there was a jumble sale on this afternoon, local, on a, in like a social club, like a community hall type thing, uh, which was for charity. So we decided to pop there. Um, we just had lunch in Asda together in the cafe. Um, and then we finished off at Lidl. So, yeah, it's quite busy and I'm looking forward to sitting down. I've just finished unpacking all of my food shopping and um, I thought I would just get the video done for the weekend before I sit down and collapse. Um, I got myself a nice cup of coffee in my pumpkin mug. So, everybody get yourself a nice cosy drink and sit down and relax and enjoy the video. So, I will start off with a few bits that I got from Home Bargains this morning. As I say, it's not a lot today, but I'll still show you anyway in case it gives any of you any ideas for Christmas things or stocking filler ideas. I thought these were a good stocking filler idea, actually. It's a pair of <clears throat> Chanel cosy socks. Um, £1.50, which I thought was really good. Um, they're this really nice, um, soft, cosy material. Really, really snuggly. Um, and they also had them in... Uh, like a baby, not quite a baby pink. I would say it's more of like a milkshake pink um, and black. But yeah, I really liked the white ones. There's like kind of like a cream actually, like an off-white. But yeah, really good idea for a stocking filler, I thought. Um, so that's those. And I got some... <clears throat> might hear some... Like Father Christmas is coming. You can hear the jingling in the background. <laughs> I got... Um, let me just see if I can adjust. Sorry, bear, bear with me a minute, everybody. I want to see if I can try and adjust. No, it's not going to work. Oh, no, there you go. I don't know if that's actually any better or worse, to be honest. That might be worse. I don't know. We're going to give it a go. I'm still, <laughs> I'm still getting used to my new um, tripod. Um, I got this pack of, oh that is better actually because it shows the items a bit better I think. I don't have to come so close to the camera but um, tea towels, two pack. Uh, these were, I think they were $3.99? Yeah, $3.99. Um, I'm one of those people where <laughs> I don't like to show seasonal things too early before the actual season and we're just on the cusp of early November it's I think it's like the 28th or 29th of October today so it is a little bit early still but I'm putting these away for Christmas anyway I thought I'd show you one is um, grey with these little snowflakes on and then the other one is just plain white with the uh, Christmas sparkle on it and some really nice little snowflakes um, they're quite good quality actually because the um, the Christmas sparkle and all of the snowflakes they're actually embroidered they're all embroidered on so really really nice um the only thing i would say with these is i'm actually going to use them more for like a, just a little hand towel in the in the kitchen um but they're kind of they're that really soft plush material which is not so good for glasses and um well any any kind of crockery really i mean i don't actually dry my Crocky, cro crockery and all of my washing up I don't dry any of it using a tea towel I have a draining board and I like everything to just um, dry naturally because then you don't get any lint or any like fluff on it but I know that you can get different types of tea towels 
and the 100% pure cotton ones with the much shorter pile, they're actually the better ones to use if you are someone that likes to use tea towels for drying all of your, your stuff. But for me personally, I tend to use tea towels if I'm in a rush and I really need something and I need to wash it up in order to use it like a ladle or just quickly rinse it out and use it, um, then I will dry something up. But it's it's rare that I do use tea towels to dry stuff up with. So for me, it's more just a hand towel. So I would just warn you that <clears throat> these are quite fluffy. So they might leave some lint on your, on your items, but they're fine for what I need them for. But... I like those because they're nice and neutral. My kitchen is quite recently refurbished and everything is all sort of off-white creams and, and that kind of colour. So um, I just wanted something quite plain. Um, keeping up with the Christmas theme, I only have two Christmas things, so I'll get them out of the way for anyone who's thinking, oh my God, she's doing Christmas stuff. <laughs> um, I'll try and pick it up as quietly as I can. I thought this was so sweet. It's a little hanger. So the top part looks like this and it's a little hanger and then you've got this natural rope and a little, little tartan bell, um, tartan bell, a tartan bow and then you have three decorative baubles in typical Christmas colours um, and then you've got these little cut out stars on them which I thought was really nice um, but yeah I mean that I think that was um, yeah so it's a five piece bell door hanger what it says on there and let me just quickly pop that down <clears throat> um i'm pretty sure that that was 2.99 oh hold on no was it really surely that's not right this ain't 99p I could have sworn it was two ninety nine, unless it was because that does happen with a home bargain sometimes, which is always a bonus when you you see something and then you go to the till and it ends up being cheaper because they haven't labelled something up properly. I'm pretty sure, yeah. So the socks, yeah, the socks are one pound fifty. I'm pretty sure that that is yeah ninety nine p. Well, there you go. Go and get down to home bargains and get yourself a bargain for your front door. Um, I do actually have a Christmas wreath which I'm going to be putting up but um, where I'm living at the moment I've only been here a year it's exactly a year this month and um, in the time that I've lived here I haven't actually used the front door because <laughs> um, well there's lots of reasons but the I've basically I only got one set of keys for a start and um, that made it difficult with my partner who's unfortunately not we're not together anymore but um, at the time it was annoying just having one set of keys and couldn't be bothered to go and get another set cut when we had the back door the back door is a lot easier because it comes straight into the conservatory and we can just take our boots off on a tiled floor we don't get any mess traipsed in through the house and we we just got used to using the back door but also i've got an inner door and then a porch door this tiny tiny little porch um and it's got like double doors but they're really really narrow and they're really difficult to get in and out of and yeah i we just hated using that entrance so at some point I'm going to get those double doors taken off and a new door put on and I'll only have one door instead of this inner porch because as much as a porch would be handy it's you can barely call it a porch I mean it's about I'd say it's probably about two foot um in terms of its its depth it's not big enough to put shoes in or anything it's literally just big enough for you to have a doormat for your post to fall down on top of um, and that's about it so yeah it's pretty useless so I am going to rejig that um I have digressed which I do all the time, but um, wreath, that's what I was on about. So um, Christmas wreath, because I use the back entrance, I will actually be hanging my Christmas wreath on the back door in the conservatory. But just for myself on the inside, I thought I would hang up this one on the front door so that when I go through the hallway, I can at least see that on the, on the inside. So that's what that's for. Um, I think this is, well, it's kind of Christmas themed, but I mean, it is actually a practical thing. This was only, I think this was £1.49. Funny how that was only 99p and yet an, a car air freshener is more money than that Christmas decoration. I got a little, it's a Wickford & Co. I got a little um, gingerbread, uh, what do you call it? Um, car air freshener. But it's in like a jar shape 
And uh, yeah, I love gingerbread bread scent. So um, I'm looking forward to putting that in the car and seeing what that's like. I won't show these in case someone is watching, but I managed to pick up two cards. One was 79p and one was 59p. So if you do need to pick up any celebration cards of any type, Home Bargains do them really, really cheap. Personally, I think they've got a good selection and um, they have quite a variety um, of different occasions as well because it's so annoying when you go into a shop and they've got a really limited range of, um, of, of occasions um, but yeah I think their cards are, are pretty good in there so but yeah I won't show those but yeah 50, 59p and 79p for a couple of cards for some birthdays that are coming up in my family um, <clears throat> I managed to get some furniture polish I was right down to the last dregs of my furniture polish and I did need a new one this one is um, suitable for vegans and it's um, cruelty free which is what I, I do my best to make sure that everything I buy is cruelty free. I would say 99.9% .9 of what I buy is, is cruelty free. I might make the occasional mistake, but if I'm not sure, I will usually get my phone out and Google it before I purchase something. But yeah, this um, anything by Fabulosa is, is cruelty free. So um, this one is Black Cherry Merlot, which I thought was quite different for a furniture polish. So I'm looking forward to using that this weekend. I will not be doing any cleaning at all for the rest of today, but tomorrow on Sunday, I will do a whip round and do some cleaning, but I look forward to seeing what that smells like. Um, oh, I do have one last Christmas themed thing. I think, no, oh no, that's an autumn theme. No, I do have, no, okay. I do have quite a few Christmas themed things actually, but um, so I got, again, this is by Wickford & Co. So it's by the same brand as um, the little air freshener that I showed you. Um, they're both gingerbread. Um, this one is, yeah, just a little gingerbread candle. It's not very big, but I think that was only like 99p. Oh, it smells so good. Sometimes gingerbread can smell a little bit overly sweet, a bit sickly, um, but this one is, is not like that. It's, um, it's a little bit more, um, I would say it's a bit more spicy rather than the sickly sweet side. So <clears throat> yeah, 99p for that. So I shall look forward to burning that when it gets into December. And um, so yeah, that's all home bargains bit. This is home bargains. This is a bit of a boring one, but I will show you for anyone out there who looks to try and save money with their meals, I will show you this because I thought it was really good. This is a soup and broth mix, but it was only 79p, which I thought for all of that was quite good. Um, I do use lentils quite a bit in my cooking. I tend to make quite a lot of slow cooker meals at least once a week uh, because that will do me for two days in a row, two, two days worth of dinners. And obviously you can bung your meat in and your veg and your potatoes. So it's quite a healthy meal. You can really bulk it out and you can pretty much throw whatever you want in there to be honest. Um, but um, yeah, I do use lentils quite a lot in my slow cookers because they're really good for you but also they're cheap and they can help sort of thicken everything up and, and sort of bulk it out. Particularly if you're running a bit low on ingredients and you don't have much, bung some lentils in there and it will really sort of pack a bit of extra punch. So um, I like to use them, but my mum my, my pointed this one out to me because it's a soup and broth mix, so I can add it in to my slow cooker stews, but it's got a mixture. So it does have the red lentils in already, but it's also got a couple of varieties of split peas, um, marrow fat peas, green and yellow split peas and pearl barley and the red lentils. So it's just something a bit different rather than just red lentils all the time. And um, I keep my red lentils in a, um, a, a, a clear glass jar with a little wooden lid on the, on the side, on the worktop. And it just looks quite nice because you can see them. Um, but because you've got a different variety of colors in here, I thought that that would add, I'm gonna mix it in with what I've already got and that will make it look quite nice. So yeah, that's what those look like. But yeah, 79p, I thought that was quite good in case any of you enjoy making stews and that kind of thing. Um, okay, so this is another Christmas themed thing. Um, <laughs> this is um, Candy Cane Lane Evergreen Spruce. And um, it is a reed diffuser, it's really pretty. So it's in a nice glass one, um, but it's got the um, sort of street theme uh, yeah, like a street scene with obviously snow topped houses and little people loading their Christmas tree into the back of their car. 
um, yeah, it's quite cute. And it's, it is a big one. Um, this is 100 mil, so that will last quite a while. This one's Evergreen Spruce. It smells really, really nice. They do have these in a candle as well, and they also had different fragrances. I think they had Candy Cane, uh, Spiced Gingerbread, but I already had a couple of gingerbread things, so I thought I'd go with the more sort of woodsy, pine-scented one. Um, so yeah, if anyone likes eucalyptus or pine or uh, uh, sort of fir tree, um, any kind of fresh scent like that, I would recommend getting this one because it is really, really fresh. So that was, um, I don't think that was a lot either. How much was that one? Um, I'm going blind, I can't find it on here. <laughs> I can't see it. No. Oh no, hold on. No, that's not it. Where is it? Oh well. Anyway, it, it wasn't that much. It would have only been a couple of quid. So that's that one. Um, oh, I got quite a good bargain with, again, this is a bit of a boring one, but um, this Pink Stuff toilet cleaner. I haven't used the Pink Stuff um, before. I know a lot of people do. Um, again, it's by Star Drops and I looked up the brand and they are cruelty free. Um, but it's um, it's supposed to have a nice sort of fruity floral scent and I was running low on toilet cleaner but um, this was actually the cheapest they did in there all of the I don't know about you I mean everything's going up at the moment but I don't know about you I find that cleaning products Wears used to be able to get some real bargains and get things under a pound everything's creeping up over a pound now and um, I'm struggling to find toilet cleaners that are less than a pound unless you go for sort of the supermarket own brand ones but if you want like the nice ones like domestos or harpic or you know some of those again i don't really buy those because i don't think they're cruelty free um tesco's own brand stuff is but uh yeah this was 99p whereas the other ones i think were creeping up to like one pound 20 a bottle so um i was like right i don't know when i'm next coming to home bargain so i bought a couple of these just to keep me going for a while so yeah 99p for those um i managed to get some really nice cans of fanta lemon and fanta orange they're individual but they're quite tall ones um they are 330 mils i think actually that's the same amount that you get in a normal like a stack you know the ones that are shorter but fatter i think that's about the same amount to be honest but i think because they're taller um they look they look bigger but i'm pretty pretty sure it's about the same amount but anyway these are 49p each which i thought was really good and sometimes i do just fancy a can of fizzy pop and um i don't i don't drink caffeine um i drink decaf tea and coffee um gave up caffeine gave up smoking gave up drinking <laughs> i haven't touched caffeine for over two years now and um but occasionally i do like to have just a little a little bit of pop but i don't touch coke because coca-cola has got caffeine in it although i know you can buy the decaf but the decaf coca-cola is quite expensive if you buy the actual coca-cola brand and um i just can't justify paying that but these little individual ones sometimes they only fancy one or two a week so um because i try to watch how much i'm having because obviously it's very high sugar content um but for just a little change up sometimes from squash or fruit juice um of an evening with my dinner or something i just fancy something a bit different so yeah i got quite a few of these um and then i'll just have those with my dinner during the week but i think i got um two of the orange and about four of the lemon ones so yeah i was pleased with those um and sometimes you don't want to buy things in like multi-packs especially if you are someone that's living on your own and you won't only want a couple of things so with those i can buy as many or as little as i want so i quite liked that um i have got a new Sephora. this one is i haven't heard of this one before this is fur needle and amber obviously it's one of their festive range fur needle and amber that one um so i am looking forward to trying that um, I do need to clean my sink this weekend because it's not been done since last weekend and it does build up a bit over the week. So yes, I shall be giving that a good go. 
tomorrow. Um, I just stopped up on my decaf coffee, my Nescafe. Um, the last couple of months I've been making do with um, sort of, well, alternating between Lidl and Aldi's own brand coffee. And it's just my personal opinion, but I don't really like it. It's, um, I am a bit of a coffee snob and I have found that, um, sorry, itchy knee. <laughs> I have found that since switching to decaf, the coffee just doesn't taste as nice as caffeinated coffee. I think obviously when it goes through a deca decaffeination process, it ruins the flavour. Um, but Nescafe is one of the few that I can buy where I feel like it still tastes like a decent cup of coffee. Um, but obviously it is expensive. So when I am in places like Home Bargains or B&M, I try and buy the huge ones. This, these are um, 300 grams and I try and buy those because that's six quid. Uh, 5 um, and that will last me a really long time so because my mum when she comes around she I keep caffeinated normal coffee in the cupboard because my mum drinks normal coffee but um, I don't so yeah that I thought for 300 grams 5 in case anybody wants to stock up on their coffee um, I think was that it for home bar? Oh no, I do have quite a lot of home bargains. I forgot about, I've got a bag over here and I forgot about these bits. Um, again, I'm just gonna run through these really quickly because some of them are quite boring, but I just got some washing machine cleaner. Again, they had about three or four different types of washing machine cleaner, different brands, but this one was 99p and it would do two washing machine cleans. It's got two separate sachets inside and obviously all of it's recyclable, so that's good. Um, so yeah, 99p for that. Do need to do my machine. I haven't done it in a while. Um, these are Astonish, which Astonish, I buy quite a lot of Astonish products because again, they are cruelty free, as you can see there, and vegan. And you get two in a pack. Um, the plastic is fully recyclable and obviously all of this is recyclable as well. And this is in uh, Eucalyptus. I haven't tried this one before. Uh, Eucalyptus scent this is and, and each one gives you up to 300 flushes so and again I think that was about £1.49 um, so yeah not too bad considering you get two in a pack. Um, now I needed some mouthwash I picked this one up they didn't have any brands that I was certain were cruelty free and I don't think Colgate is um, but they didn't I desperately needed some mouthwash and they didn't have any see Colgate, I can't remember, ah, see, yeah, Colgate and Palm Olive, they collab together and now they're Colgate Palm Olive as a company. I'm pretty sure that Palm Olive is cruelty free, so whether Colgate is as well, I'm not 100%, I will have to look it up, but I didn't want to go with Oral B because the, the other one they had was Oral B and that one is owned by Procter and Gamble and I won't touch their stuff. So I took a chance with this one. It is only a tiny one. But again, if you're living on your own, I mean, I've only got a small 500 mil sink in my shower room because my shower room is quite tiny. And um, I don't want some whopping great big bottle when I'm on my own because it will probably take me six months to a year to go through it all. So just a little diddy one and then it doesn't take up as much space. I think that was, um, I think that was 99p, which is not bad for uh, Colgate because obviously that is a, quite a big brand. Um, for any cat lovers, I'll try and whiz through these, um, any cat lovers out there, if um, if your cat's like Dreamies, they're doing these at the moment. They're £1.25 a bag normally, they're doing them three for a pound, uh, sorry, three for a pound, that would be, <laughs> that would be good. Um, three for three pounds, so end up being a pound each, so you're saving yourself 25 pence per pack, so that's what, 75p saving in total? Um, that was quite quick maths for me, considering my maths is awful. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I just got chicken and catnip and uh, chicken and duck. But my cats go crazy for these. I don't know where mine is at the moment. Tayo! See? <laughs> it's like the advert on the telly. You, there you go. Hey, say hello to everybody. <laughs> It's like the advert on the telly where the guy shakes the bag and the cat goes bursting through the wall. I don't think you're going to go bursting through a wall, are you? No, because you're very tiny. Oh, my mummy's coffee. Want another one? 
<laughs> she does. You're clever clogs, aren't you? Me? Hey, come here. No, this one, not this, this. Oh, here you go. One more. One more. Here you go. Up you come. Good girl. Alright, go on. So yeah, that's Teo. My little baby. My little fur baby. Oh, can't get these. I hate these plastic things. They're so difficult to do up again. I shall, uh, I do actually keep all of my cat treats in a little cat tin though, so um, I will decan all of those in there later. A couple of sweet treats for myself. Um, I got, these looked really nice, and again, they're kind of a seasonal thing, so I thought I'd give them a try. I love Fox's um, biscuits. I've been really trying to find, you know the Fox's classics? Fox's classic, <laughs> you're not helping anymore. Come on, Bubba, off you go. Um, yeah, the Fox's classic. Uh, biscuit bars I really like those but I've not been able to find them anywhere recently but I went with these which are apple crumble apple crumble flavor they looked really really nice I thought so and these were like 75p a pack or 79 either 75 or 79p so again for a brand one I thought that was really good and oh I'm really looking forward to it. these are a seasonal edition it says seasonal edition these are sticky toffee pudding flavour. I think they're just going to taste kind of caramelly. But um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to <laughs> tucking into those. And then um, I just got some, I got some Frutella sweets. I didn't know Frutella did jellies because they normally do the kind of like chew -its, you know, like the long packets of um, sort of squishy square fruit um fruit chews but I didn't realize they did jellies um, these were I think about 95p a bag which was a little bit on the pricey side because they're not a particularly large packet but I was intrigued by them because they've got real fruit juice in them and these ones were uh, by the sea which is quite apt for me being near the coast so I thought I'd give them a try you've got starfish fish and crab shaped jellies I thought they looked really tasty so I got some of those. I did, I think I actually put them away already. Um, yes, I did. <laughs> the other ones I got were, again, seasonal ones in the snow. And they are little, little penguins. Those ones, little penguins. So yeah, I got those. And I got myself, oh, I can't wait to eat this cookie crumble. I haven't had one of these in ages, but it's Saturday night and I thought, you know what, I'm going to treat myself and eat this in front of the telly <laughs> after my dinner. So that is everything from Home Bargains. Um, well, there were some other bits, but they were bought even more boring than what I've probably already showed you. So um, after that, we went to Asda because my mum needed to get a kettle. Well, she did manage to get one. She managed to get one for like £13 because mum wasn't bothered about a big fancy one. Um, just a white plastic kettle that does the job. That's all she wanted. So, yeah, we managed to get, to be fair, it was a nice shape. And for 13 quid, I thought it looked quite nice. So, yep, she managed to get that. The only purchase I made in Asda, which was yet another candle. And I know I've already bought a gingerbread candle and I've got 10,000 candles at home already. But I don't care because I really bought it for this. This is a really nice um, autumn woods it's got on there. Autumn Woods little um, scented candle and it's in this really cute little ceramic um, jar. I have to say I'm a bit disappointed with the scent because I don't know why but for some reason the inside of the lid has all the scent. Like that's really strong but I cannot smell anything of the candle whatsoever. Um, they don't fill it right up either. It's not, it's not a lot. So you are really paying for the jar, but that's fine because that's what I bought it. <laughs> and it's got one of these um, sort of rubber uh, rims round to seal it. So although it's not a particularly great seal, but it's just such a lovely little glass jar, um, glass, ceramic. And I thought um, the, especially this time of year, obviously with it being a seasonal themed candle, I'll burn it now. But even when I finished the candle, I can keep this in the kitchen because that would look nice in the kitchen all year round to be honest because 
it's an acorn so it will look nice anyway so that was the only thing i got in asda so yeah we went home bargains then asda um then me and my mum stopped off in asda in the cafe because we were both desperate for some lunch um just to tell anyone in case people are looking for a cheap place to eat out um if you're out and about and you're hungry and you sort of think oh i really need to stop by and eat somewhere asda's cafe they are doing a meal deal at the moment where you can get a um an item uh, for lunch like a sandwich or like a baguette um but they heat it up for you it's like a toasted baguette um with chips on the side plus a drink um and that's a fiver so i think that's really good um the fact that you actually get chips on the side so you're actually getting a hot meal a hot lunch for five pound and i don't think you i mean you'll, you'll struggle to find that anywhere else for that amount of money um and because the baguette was i'd say the baguette was about this long and with the chips as well that was enough for the both of us so mum just bought the one and then we just cut the baguette in half we just had half each and then i just pinched a few of mum's chips um, but i wasn't as hungry as she was so i only had a couple of chips anyway because that was plenty for me but yeah five quid and then i had a cup of tea um i can't remember what mum had i think she had coffee but yeah anyway nice cheap lunch and then after that and we'd refreshed ourselves and ready to go again we then went on to the jumble sale now this was at a like a, a social community hall a local hall in um in the old village and um i managed to get myself some bargains i really wanted to show you these this was one pound fifty now i was well i say i was after one i wasn't specifically hunting for um a new coat hanger a uh, coat hanger coat hook a coat hook <laughs> um i wasn't specifically looking for one but i did need one because um i don't have anywhere to hang my coats um not all of them so a lot of them i have to keep in the wardrobe but i can keep a few out on the existing coat rack that was here when i moved in but it's really really dated it's it belonged to the lady that lived here before and it is dated so i've just been making do with it and it's only got this has got four hooks on it the other one's got three and one of them's broken so basically i've only got two hooks <laughs> and i've been using it in the whole year i've been here this is a newer one and yeah it's solid wood and it's got those sort of deliberately filed edges to make it look a bit more shabby chic all around the edge um but yeah solid wood and these are like little ceramic knobs so and then the uh, these are just metal painted metal um but yeah one pound fifty in the jumble sale so <laughs> i was like right i'm having that <laughs> um and it's the same width as the old one so i'm hoping it will be really easy to just nip off and replace because I'm, I'm not very good with diy stuff but to be honest i'll probably get my handyman to do it um and then i just got a couple of tops they were doing um any three they basically had this square load of tables out um well it was like the center of the, i'm not explaining this very well <laughs> in the center of the community hall they'd placed all the tables next to each other to form a square and then they were all in this all the women were in the center and then they would just put the clothes out it was a mess because everyone was just flinging through it typical sort of jumble sale where everyone just flings it everywhere it's like primark <laughs> where it's just a, a mess um and all the clothes were all on the tables and they were basically doing any three items for a pound and i was thinking my god that's like i don't i can't remember the last time i mean you can't even get clothes in a charity shop that cheap anymore three for a pound so i got this jumper um which is kind of a it's a like it is green but it's very very pale green probably shows up better further away actually rather than up front on the camera but yeah it's a pale green and then it has these sort of flowers on but it's a really soft snuggly material and it's quite stretchy um so yeah i got that jumper i was really happy with that and then i got a long tunic this is it's quite pretty so it's the, probably the kind of thing that i would wear on a meal out but i mean you could wear it day to day but i got this long tunic so the top is kind of a blue gray mottled sort of blue gray and then i might have to go right back oh well, i'm gonna have to lift it up 
the bottom sort of fades into this sort of damask, like a damask pattern. And then it's got these glitzy, glitzy little um, stones. So I thought that was really nice. And it has pockets. It's got pockets on the side as well, which is really handy. And it's three quarter length sleeve. But yeah, it's quite, a, it's not too thick, which is good, but it is like a nice soft fuzzy material. So quite a nice autumnal one. But yeah, that I would say that comes to about just above my knee. So it's kind of like a tunic dress dress type thing but yeah I thought that was really pretty and um, I can wear that out with my leggings uh, my leggings and um, my uh, Chelsea boots um, for like a meal out or something in fact that's what I'm, I'm wearing a long tunic today this is uh, Marks and Spencer it's like a um, it's got a big star on it but it's made up of lots of little stars it's from last year actually last year's season um, I think it was £12.50 um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything I got from Home Bargains, Asda, and then the Jumble Sale. I got those three things, which I was really pleased about. And um, yeah, then after that, me and my mum went and did my food shop because my back's not been very good today and I needed cow litter. And I was going to struggle to to lift that up myself. So mum said, well, we might as well just do that on the way back. So she basically did a little bit of a... Um, a whip round with me and helped me with my stuff helped me get it all into the um, into the house and um, I borrowed all of her shopping bags because we went in her car today um, so I'm gonna give them back when I see her tomorrow on nip round and give all her shopping bags back but yeah basically we um, just did a quick whiz round little and I got in all my shopping for the week all my food shopping um, so yeah, one good thing about being on my own is that at least my food bill is <laughs> is cheaper. Um, that's one positive way of looking at it, at the situation. It's uh, been a pretty naff week, to be honest. Um, uh, I found out, uh, I won't go into too much detail because of their private life, but um, I found out that somebody that I know that is very close to me um, is uh, is very, very ill. And um, so, yeah, that was quite a shock. And um, I've had a really, really busy week at work. But, um, yeah, that combined with um, my recent separation and uh, finding out about the news about this, this person that's close to me. Um, so, yeah, it's not been a very good week. <laughs> um, but uh, that's why I really looked forward to going out today, just get me out of the house. So um, I had a really nice time going around. I know it was only mooching around the shops, but sometimes it's just good to get out. So um, I would encourage anyone that's sort of feeling a bit down, even if even if you have to force yourself, just, just get out of the house, even if it's just a quick 10 minute walk, even if it's around the block, you know, you don't have to live near a park or a wood or, you know, a beach or anything like that. Just get yourself out around the block. I do that in the evening sometimes. I'll go around the block for 10 minutes and come back and I do feel better for it. So um, get out, get yourself out there, get out for a walk. Um, and um, yeah, you'll feel better. So <laughs> I'm glad I went out today. Um, tomorrow, I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going to obviously go take the bags back to my mum's. Um, exciting. Um, <laughs> I don't know what else I'm going to do. But uh, anyway, I hope that uh, whatever you are doing for the rest of your weekend, that you have a lovely time. I'm going to wrap it up there. I hope you have enjoyed. I know some of the items, well, most of the items, to be honest, weren't exactly that exciting. But sometimes I think it's nice just to look at the everyday stuff, because if it gives you an idea of where to get some bargains from, you know, it's worth it's worth sharing that with people. Um, so, yeah, uh, have a really nice rest of the weekend whatever you're doing and I'm gonna wrap things up there thanks for watching everybody and if you did enjoy this video please like and subscribe thanks very much bye